Seeing as we had so much fun gathering poison ivy the first time, we kind of accidentally, uh, perp it got dead. So we had to go back to the park a second time, get all suited up to fight off the mosquitoes and get a second round of poison ivy. That way we can use that to start a terrarium with. And we got some little poison ivy berries, so we're gonna try to start some from seed too. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on that. All right, so first thing, Okay, so I like to use a piece of scrap linoleum because I'm too cheap to buy one of those like fancy craft pads. But this is just to protect the table while I cut stuff on it. But we need to prepare the tank before I start handling any more poison ivy. So let's go ahead and do that. First thing I'm going to be doing is setting up the terrarium. And I'm going to be making a separation layer because the terrarium we're using is a screen terrarium. And I don't want the dirt spilling out the sides. So I'm setting it on top of it to kind of get an idea of where it's going to sit on this weed bearer. And then I'm going to cut extra so that it can kind of fold up the sides of it. Sorry, microphone. I'm going to be cutting extra so it folds up the sides of it to kind of help keep the soil in and not spilling out through the screen that would probably hold it in any way. So because the container I have is square, if you try to fold up a thing that's cut to a larger size than just a square container, you get these just angry folds on the corners. So what I'm gonna be doing is cutting the corners on it. Usually people don't like to advocate cutting corners, but in this situation, I found, at least in my experience, I like the way they kind of overlap after you cut it, and it just it looks a little nicer. It doesn't need to be precise, honestly. I've messed up these pretty bad. And it's going to be hidden underneath a bunch of dirt with poison ivy on top of it. All right, so now the corners are cut. Let's go ahead and get the terrarium all started. The one thing about this container, even though it's screen that I was a little worried about, is the plastic bottom on it. So... One of the things I want to do to try to combat that, or at least one of the concerns I had, I should say, is maybe this plastic bottom will make kind of anaerobic bacteria conditions possible in some of the soil because there won't be a lot of airflow coming directly through the bottom. So I'm gonna be putting a very thin layer of hydrogen. Honestly, might be unnecessary. And it's not even really a full layer, it's just kind of an extra bag I had laying around, tangled in my audio cords. Perfect. <laughs> I thought there was a little bit more in here than there actually is. Now that I have this fine layer, fine, truly fine, because it doesn't even cover the bottom, layer of hydrogen in here, I'm gonna go ahead and put my weed barrier in. I'm really good at cra wrapping Christmas presents too. There might be more dirt in here than I realized there would be. I take it back. It's almost like I planned it that way. With this terrarium, part of the thing we wanted to see was really how the poison ivy grows best. So when we're placing it in here, we're going to be putting it in a little bit different environment. Some of it, we're going to try to see if we can get it to grow up the side of this screen because we've seen it growing and kind of vining up trees. Some of it we're going to see if we can get it to grow across the top of the soil as ground cover. And then some of it we're going to see if we can even get it to grow from seeds. So part of this whole terrarium experiment is just to see which ways it grows best in our environment around us. All right, we got a great poison ivy friend right here. This one, it's... The leaves were a little bit larger than a lot of the other stuff we were finding in that area. And it's actually got some poison, or not, it, well, it is poison ivy, but it has some spider webs on it. Um, this part was a part of a much larger system, but it does have a little bit of roots on it. So I wanted to see if this would grow and take and just live on its own. There we go. This one I had found vining up onto a tree. So I'm going to see if I can kind of plant this longer root portion down here and then lay this portion up the top of this piece of bark and see if it'll kind of take to that. 
kind of like there. Looking for inspiration and blisters, possibly. Now I just have a ton more than I need left. Like, look at these little guys. Like, this thing is barely, not even the size of, like, my fingertip. And that thing can make some people react terribly. So we're going to go ahead and keep it as on purpose. That sounds like a great idea. And for those of you that have a really keen eye, we're gonna play a really short game. See if you can spot the difference between what yesterday's tank looked like and today's tank looked like, because there is a big change and I was pretty surprised by it. Needless to say, I was expecting a little bit of transfer shock with this poison ivy, but what we came back to was just complete and other just poison ivy annihilation. I mean, I guess in most situations that'd be a good thing, but no, not right now, because we wanted this to live and it is dead. I'm having flashbacks to the bucket of dead stuff that we had to go recollect because of. So hopefully we can get these little seed berries to take off because it might be this last hope for the poison ivy, but the moss is doing good. Perfect. Now that we have those berries planted up, hopefully we can get some sprouts coming out of them because the rest of the poison ivy in this terrarium really isn't showing a whole lot of promise. But I'd like to believe they're going to bounce back, and I think that might be a little too optimistic. Though, at the very least, we did have a lot of fun playing the Spot the Difference game, so make sure to like the video if you enjoyed the game, and you could even leave a comment with how quickly you spot the difference so we can get a high score going. And if you enjoyed our videos and you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe so that way we can see you again in another video in the future. Now I'm going to go wash off my hand before I start getting any blisters or anything like that. Take care.